guys, it's uh, me again, Fly with me FPV, and uh, what I have here is a Flywu Firefly Hex Nano. You, see, you saw the uh, fast forwarded unboxing video, but this is basically it. Well, I'm pretty excited about this uh, because this is the first uh, quad, or micro quad, that uh, I will get a chance to fly that has six motors. I never had uh, like a hex quad before. So I'm pretty, I'm looking forward to testing this out and see how it flies, uh, flight characteristics and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, uh, we'll go over the parts that is installed on this. Uh, this is a bind and fly, by the way. It's uh, an FR Sky version, which come with, uh, comes with an XM Plus over there, if you can see it. There you go. And uh, it's rated at 4S, so it could take a, a pack uh, up to a 4S pack. The suggested uh, pack for about seven minutes, uh, six minutes flight time is uh, 450 milliamp hour 4S. So uh, we'll we'll uh, fly it with that pack and see how it goes. All right, so let's go over the uh, parts that uh, is included or installed on this uh, Firefly Nano hexacopter. All of these parts you see, these is these are all uh, uh, Flywoo uh, products. This is a uh, 16 uh, by 16 stack, and uh, the ESC is uh, they call it uh, the product line is Goku. So this is a Goku uh, F4 uh, hex stack. Uh, the ESC is rated at uh, 13 uh, amps per. I wouldn't say per corner now, but because there's six motors uh, per motor, and it comes with an F4 flight controller, which is there in the middle. If you can see it there, uh, still USB-C. I'm oh, sorry, still, still USB. And the VTX there is called uh, v VTX625, which is a 40-channel uh, VTX, and can go as high as uh, the output power could go as uh, high as uh, 450 uh, milliwatt now the motors these are 1202.5 flywoo robo motors i don't know if you can uh, see that but uh yeah 5500 uh, kv motors obviously six of them because it's a hexacopter and i believe this uh camera it's got excess there cadex fpv this I think is a Cadix uh, Ant Nano camera. So I, I have, oops, I have one here that looks exactly the same. But anyways, uh, and what else? Now, if you notice this wire here, because this this hexacopter can carry a, uh, I've seen videos where it carried a uh, Insta360 Go. Obviously, you need just need to uh, you know either 3D print. Uh, the mount for whatever camera you're going to use. It can also carry a naked GoPro and uh, I think an SMO. So it is very flexible. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have those cameras. I have an Insta360 Go, but it's broken. But uh, for the interest of just testing this out, I'm going to fly this like this out of the box. Again, it's a Bind and Fly FR Sky version, XM Plus. Uh, receiver so if you notice this uh, 3d printed part here I think this is provision because you could also put a TBS crossfire you know those smaller antennas and that's why you could uh, you know put it there but now since it's uh, it, it sorry it came with an XM plus you got these two antennas and that is a I verify that that's a right hand circular polarized 5.8 antenna which connects to the VTX over there uh, by a UFL connector. So, just looking at how this is uh, built, it's uh, I would say it's it's put together really nicely. You know the the solder uh, on the wires there that connect uh, to the motors. You can tell that uh, this is not uh, done. Uh, there's certain level of skill that required to you know solder those uh, small uh, solder pads there, and uh, the parts itself, they're not uh, I would say you know crappy parts, but 
we will find out when I test I'm gonna push this like from a distance point of view obviously uh, I don't intend to crash it but if it does then we'll find out how the stack it's not 100% protected but uh, you know I've seen my my quads my bigger quads are the, the electronic components are more you know kind of protruding out so we'll see all right and it comes with a capacitor too so you know at first uh, when I saw this it's like oh man that's gonna might be loose but it's actually soldered really nice so it doesn't really wiggle or you know move around uh, real estate wise yeah it's not that tight you got space you know for airflow and that kind of thing and uh, yeah this one is <laughs> it's a good addition you know they zip tied not a biggie but they zip tied the, the power leads onto the uh, bottom plate there all right so yeah, my first uh, impression uh, on this Binafly, it's it's well assembled. Like the components are, uh, I paid particular attention on how the solder was done on, on these wires. So, you know, this one is, you know, very decent, I would say. Now, uh, I came with the Betaflight 4.2 uh, and it has its own tune. It's, I want to emphasize that it's not Betafly out of the box stock tune. It's already tuned. Uh, the sliders are all over the place, so I will fly it. The rates are default Betafly stock, so I will fly it as is. I will just have to uh, you know bind this to my Radio Master, set uh, my uh, my arm switches, you know, uh, beeper and all that kind of stuff. But I will not change the the tuning. I will probably fly it with the uh, default rates or stock rates for beta flight and then I'll put my own rates and see how it goes. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited because I haven't really flown anything that has more than four motors so this is uh, uh, something new to me. Uh, out of the box you saw the uh, you know the unboxing it came with uh, you know these HQ two sets well after you're done you only have two spare. Uh, these are uh, 40 millimeter actually whoop props so that would be very interesting came with you know not a manual but gives you some sort of a pinout diagram spare uh, zip ties and a spare uh, battery strap battery strap doesn't come with a buckle so it's just it's wrap wrap around velcro and some blah 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 tips okay spare screws and nylon uh, nuts there spacers so yeah that's about it for uh, 222 dollars Canadian uh, that's an obvious you can uh, uh, get your hands on this uh, hexa uh, copter uh, from uh, flywoo anyways let's jump into the uh, flight footage uh, again these are gonna be flown with with the default uh, when I say default that came out of the box the rates again are beta flight default, but uh, there's some uh, pin tuning that was already uh, set on beta flight, so it's not like stock or beta flight uh, tune. All right, I got to uh, this site where you know it's, it's a parking lot. If you can see that, and I fly here a lot, test gear, you know, fly my uh, bigger drones. But today I'll. Uh, test this Flywoo Firefly Nano, see how it flies. Uh, I'm really excited to you know, get a feel of a six, uh, six motor quad and uh, we're gonna fly it on uh, stock rates or that came with the drone out of the box. Basically it's a uh, beta flight uh, stock rates and then I'm gonna change it to the rates that uh, you know, I, uh, I use to, uh, to do freestyle. All right, so.
all right so I don't want to bore you with too much flight footage but uh, I flew four packs and I have to say this thing flies really amazing now whether because it's it has six motors or four motors I really couldn't tell but it handles really great as you can see on uh, the videos I tried you know stock rates I tried my rates you know doing those flips and dives and stuff and it flies really good um, it is fast it's really zippy uh, this area here that I'm I flew uh, you know trees are really nice and spaced out now one of the things that I think uh, Flywoo can definitely improve on this bind and fly uh, uh, Firefly Nano is uh, you know that battery strap yeah that's uh, probably uh, replace it with something that has a like a buckle because uh, it's really hard to secure the battery on this one I flew this by the way not with a 450 but with a heavier 650 uh, tattoo batteries so for me it's perfect it's a bit heavy but I'm not carrying any HD camera so I would uh, expect if you're carrying a, you know a naked GoPro or uh, an Insta360 Go uh, you will you know still find the flight attitude or characteristic um, decent even with with that payload so again uh, flyboo if you can see this change the battery strap it's just crappy like you know battery falls but you know you could buy or replace it with a battery strap with a buckle at least to uh, hold the battery uh, more securely onto the frame and uh, yeah well the antennas I mean that's not really a biggie it's kind of like loose there so you could probably secure that with zip ties and uh, make sure it doesn't flap around because it could easily get caught on the, the propellers. That is my uh, initial review of uh, this uh, Firefly Nano from Flywoo. Flies really great, amazing for uh, 222 uh, Canadian dollars. You got something out of the box that flies uh, really well. Um, I don't think tuning is uh, needed. Uh, the tune that came with it is, is it's it's decent it's fine uh, however you know when you start putting uh, uh, GoPro or naked GoPro or you know HD cameras then you might need to compensate by uh, making adjustments on your tune so thanks for watching and uh, till the next video